What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another Money and Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new 2-in-1 WWE Elite figure review on the WWE Elite Series 107 Solo Sokoa and Grayson Waller figures. Now, this is very exciting indeed because the Solo Sokoa is getting a much-needed update that we got not too long ago in Elite Series 104. We got the upgraded torso. We got some new stuff going on with it. Got the War Games gear here in the red. So, a lot of people are excited for that figure. And then Grayson Waller, not the biggest fan of the guy, to be honest. Not, never really has really clicked with me. Never been a big fan of the guy. I just, I don't know. I guess I just don't connect with him personally right now. But we'll see where that goes, man. That's been in the past. I've had that same connection with people before. Actually, Austin Theory and LA Knight I'm also in the same boat with. So, you know what? That's just besides the point. Nonetheless, man, we're going to dive into it. We have Solo Sako and Grayson Waller. First time on the line, I might add. And he is the chase figure. But Solo's looking pretty damn good, man. I'm excited to have an updated Solo Sokoa. You know, a lot of us, I, I mean, this was one of my least favorite figures from 2023. Was the Elite 104 first time Solo. So, I'm happy to to get, you know, an updated solo right here, but you got a, you know, image of the side there, you got an image on the back right there, got the little bio read, looking pretty damn good. I'm excited for this wave. We have already reviewed Finn Balor, but I'm excited for the rest of this wave here to, to see where they stand. But then you have Grayson Waller here, white and pink gear is looking fire, I might add, but first time on the line, oh my Jesus. However, I did move my background back. I moved my background back, so, I, oh my, oh my God. I moved my background back, so hopefully, you know, we won't deal with any knocking over, but there is Grayson Waller there. A little Grayson Waller action there. Rest of the figures in the wave, of course. But nonetheless, man, with that being said, let's crack these guys out of the packaging, find out what they're all about, see if the Solo Sokoa update is worth it, and uh, find out what he's all about. So here's Solo and Grayson out of the packaging, man. Liking what I'm seeing so far out of these two figures, you know, I'm really excited for the Solo, like I said. And Grayson Waller, you know, I, I like the gear a lot, but there's some questionable decisions on this figure, which we're going to, of course, get into. But, of course, we're going to break all of these things down. But I don't want to wait any longer on the Solo Sokoa, so we are going to take a closer look at Solo Sokoa's accessories and Solo Sokoa first. And then, of course, we will run it back and take a closer look at the Grayson Waller accessories and the Grayson Waller, if anybody gives a damn. That's just jokes. But I'm dead serious. I, I, think, people, I think people are excited about the Grayson Waller. Let me know down in the comment section below. But I think people are definitely more excited for the Solo Sokoa. Let's dive into it. So diving into Solo Sokoa's accessories, man, you get a decent amount here. We get the same exact We The One shirt that we saw with the Elite 106 Usos, Jimmy and Jay Uso. And I actually went to my Walmart to get a little piece for my arena to rebuild it. And I found Elite 106 on the pegs, the full wave. Did not find the Chase Paul Bear, but I did find the Usos, so I bought both of them. And there was like 76 Sami Zayn's, but this looks good. Velcro's on there, so it's not, you know, it's the exact same shirt we got with the those guys, but it does seem a little bit larger, so there's that, but I'm pretty sure this graphic is wrong, if I do remember correctly. I think it's supposed to have, like, a black outline or some details that's missing here. God, what was it? I don't know. It was in my Elite 106 review, too, of the Usos. The shirts were wrong. Now, we also get his entrance towel, which I don't know if this is a new sculpt. It may not be a new sculpt, but it is in a black colorway. A lot of people were upset that last time, I think he had a white towel, and this time we do get the black towel. Maybe he didn't even have a towel last time, but the black towel looks great for his entrance and everything like that. I would really like to see a cloth towel that could be, I don't know really how you do it. I guess it would have to be bendy wire, which I guess isn't really realistic at this juncture, but I guess this gets the job done for displays and entrances and whatnot, but you do have the black towel accessory for his entrance. And then, of course, you do have the mic holding hands here with the white peg on the right side, so that's good. You know, it doesn't break up the skin tone, which I feel like Mattel's gotten really consistent at. You do get the We The One hand, so the right hand does have the white wrist tape and the white peg, but we have the We The One pointing finger to, you know, of course, not only say We The Ones, but also point at people and tell them to shut the hell up. And then you get Samoan spike hands, which are great, man. I'm actually glad they included this, but isn't his thumb supposed to be taped? Am I wrong about that? I guess you could acetone that off, but pretty sure he's supposed to have uh, the thumb taped. I, I could be wrong about that, but nonetheless, you know, these are to, you know, ruin Cody Rhodes' chances at winning the championship and crushing his hopes and dreams. These hands are for, you know, bringing a nightmare to the American nightmare. So yeah, there's that. So starting off at the head sculpt with the Elite 107 Solo, this is a brand new head sculpt. Contrary to popular belief, this is a brand new head sculpt, so that's cool. We have a new haircut right here. The haircut is a little bit differently. He's got a nice fade going on there. Got a fade before Roman. I mean, I'll tell you that. But he's looking good here. I like it. He looks like he beat the hell out of you. He looks menacing like Solo Sokoa does, so I like that. Facial hair, I kind of wish that it was thicker and longer. It's it's a bit short, and I wish he had some stubble going up right there, but that's not bad. I like it. Torso, brand new. Pretty sure this is one of one. Don't think we've ever seen this torso before, man. So if you compare a bunch of, you know, the Samu, the Fatu, different torsos like that, this is a 
one of one if I'm not mistaken, man. But right here, you can pull this waist wrap down right here to expose the belly if you want, but you can slide that up and then it serves. This is a genius way to do this. So huge shout out to Mattel for doing it this way. Leave this torso so you can reuse this torso, but then you guys already know that Solo's uh, waistband goes above his belly button and it goes up onto his stomach. So make this a piece that can slide up. That way it looks like his shorts are riding up and you don't have to make a brand new torso that you're only going to use like once. So that's pretty genius. Great job over there by Mattel. I will say the tattoos look good, but the arms are so damn skinny, man. Why is his arms so skinny? I feel like his arms are beefier than this, man. The Grayson Waller has the exact same arm size. That's a problem. He should have pretty decent sized arms here. At least, you know, the chunkier side. Not as cut, but I guess we'll have to live with it, but all the tattoos look good right there going around. You do have Street Champ on the back. We have the red gear from the War Games matchup, which is really cool. I like that. Got the white under tape right there, and then you do have his open knee pads, which are nice. I still think these legs are too damn skinny, though, man. Way too skinny of legs. He's got massive upper body and tiny lower body, which is not good. So I would like to see better proportions out of this guy, maybe for the future. I hope they don't just use this as the base and then repaint it over and over, man. I, I really would like to see some updates, but he does have his nice bare feet right there, which, you know, I'm sure there's some people out there that enjoy that. But one thing that's interesting here, man, is he's not on ball joints. So you get a lot of that ricketing going on, man. And I hate that. I just, oh man, that is bummerific that he's not on ball joints. Could have really made this guy poseable, man, but they went with the same leg mold as his last Elite, I'm pretty sure, so that's probably the reason why, but yeah, I mean, this ab crunch, you can get a decent ab crunch out of this, and then the rest of the articulation we've seen, but I really would like to see not only up here cut, but cut it right there, man. It's seamless. It's right there. It's perfectly right there. You have a gifted opportunity to put cut there and then cut there, so then you'd have three cuts, which would be immaculate, but nonetheless, man, I don't know, man. He's definitely not going to be fun to pose around, I can tell you that that right now. He's going to probably be a nightmare to be honest. You hear that, like, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but he's got that clicking sound, and I can't stand that. It makes him just very hard to move, but, uh, yeah, not looking good for articulation, but let's get into some Solo Sokoa figure comparison. So for our first Solo Sokoa figure comparison, we do have the Elite 104 on the right compared to this new edition, and yeah, I'm pretty sure these legs are the exact same. New crotch piece, new torso, rest of the formula is pretty much identical. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not even comparable and I would take the shirt off but it's actually really really difficult but they gave him the Usos torso last time and you guys can see the difference I mean he's way bigger over here way more accurate which I do enjoy so that is great but yeah the Elite 104 really pissed me off I wanted to throw that figure out in the yard so very cool to have this one and you know we do get cloth goods with this one and there's some great things going on with both but the Elite 107 kind of Samoan spikes the other one in the face and then for your other comparison with the Elite 107 Solus Co we do have the full bloodline right here which looks really good you have the Elite 107 6, Jimmy and Jey Uso, the brand new Ultimate Edition Series 20 Roman, and the Amazon exclusive 3-pack Tribal Chief versus Beast Incarnate Paul Heyman, which is a great figure in itself. So, this is awesome to see these. You know, these are all their kind of better versions. I know these Usos do have the Daniel Bryan torso, but they get the jobs done if you do have their shirts on there, which I think these are going to be great to, you know, put up on the shelf all together. I think this is awesome. I think it looks really, really good and, uh, and all the different stuff you want to see there. So, I don't know, man. I, the more I thought about it, I'm like, do I want to see the Ultimate, like, Solo Sokoa, I could see him Samoan spiking Roman Reigns and like, tr you know, like stabbing him in the back and like costing Roman Reigns his his reign of terror and then push him off into babyface territory. But I can't really see Solo Sokoa as a babyface right now, man. I just think he works so well in that in that role. It wasn't like a Batista or anything like that. So I don't know. We'll have to see about that. But it is cool to see these up next to each other. And, you know, you, now you kind of have your full bloodline. We're still waiting on our Ultimate Edition Sami Zayn or whatever to fill in that last spot for the full bloodline for that one period. Period, but you know, if you want your just base five here, I think this gets a lot of the jobs done, and they look really sick up next to each other, so that's always a bonus. And then for Grayson Waller's accessories, we do get kind of the bare minimum here. They are bringing back rubber goods here, man. We got some different logos going on. You got, you know, like some different logos. You got the gold going around. I do like the pink, like airbrush flames going on. Grayson Waller effect. Pretty cool hoodie accessory. Nothing that's, you know, earth shattering. We've seen a lot of this, but he does have the sculpted zipper on there. I don't know if this is a reused mold. I want to say this is a new mold. It's got the split on the side. So, you know, all these different hoodies and stuff like that are very, very similar. But it is rubber and it's got white and pink, which are two of my favorite colors. But he does come with world going around mic holding hands. He comes with fists to beat the hell out of people. And then, of course, he does come with the handshaking entrance style ricochet Kawhi Leonard claw handshaking style hand. I wonder what figure it was that we dubbed that first. What was the first ever Kawhi Leonard hands? I guess, oh, it was ricochet. It was ricochet because we call them the ricochet Kawhi Leonard hands because they are massive like Kawhi Leonard's hands. And 
then they came with the Elite 69 Ricochet. And here we are, almost 40 series later, still getting these hands. Damn. Shout out Kawhi Leonard and Ricochet, though. So getting into Grayson Waller, starting out the head sculpt. I mean, it looks exactly like the head sculpt that you see on the front of the packaging, man. Like, uh, it looks just like it. At least the facial expression. I think the haircut's nice. I think the facial expression and the likeness is good. Yeah, I think, you know, it checks all the boxes. I think this is good. And I like this formula, you know. I think that, you know, is he, does he just have six-pack abs all the time? No. But I like my figures to be a step above exaggerated, usually, right? So some figures can, you know, they can be that ultimate jack or, you know, that chiseled because I think this is one step above what he really looks like. Arm size is good. The formula for this guy is is somewhat questionable in some ways, but not in terms of, like, I think it represents the character really well, you know? The gear is really cool. You have Waller on the front right there. Waller, Baller, I guess. But the white and the white shorts are clean as hell, you know? I, I think that is fantastic. I love the airbrush flames on there, which are great. He's got the pocket on the back, which is very weird because, you know, you'd look at that and think, oh, this is a Usos crotch, but he's not on ball joints, man. He's not on ball joints, so that's really worrisome because he's kind of hard to, like, I don't know. He can do the splits and kick forward okay, and his knee is fine. We'll get into the articulation in a moment, but he does have these large AF Kurt Angle knee pads on there, which are very annoying and hindrance. I'm going to definitely get rid of those, and then he does have the Austin boots with the calves and whatnot, but he's on, uh, he is pinless, and he is not on ball joints, but, I mean, he can kick forward pretty decent. You have a very tight knee. I hate these knee pads, though. Jesus in heaven. I may just get rid of the knee pads altogether. I may not even put knee pads back on the guy, but yeah, I mean, the short boots are usually very annoying to pose as well. I figure won't stand as well, but I'm not really having that issue with this Grayson Waller. I kind of like it, you know, so that's good. And then for your Grayson Waller figure comparisons, here we have Grayson Waller up next to Braun Breaker and Carmelo Hayes. Pretty cool to get like these trickled in NXT talents for like three waves in a row. Or I guess in Elite 106 we didn't, but we did have, you know, we had our Roxanne, so I guess, you know, they are peppering in NXT talent little by little, so that is good. But you have Carmelo Hayes from Elite 105, Braun Breaker from from Elite 104, Grayson Waller, Elite 107, and you get Cora Jade in this set as well, so they, I mean, they're trickling in this younger talent, or this, you know, not as exposed talent, which is great to see, but it is cool to see these up next to each other, even though I'm not the biggest fan, but at least I'm going to the Royal Rumble, but I think that pretty much wraps up our 2 and one WWE Elite Series 107 solid, dude, I thought he was gonna fall, I, I'll be shocked if he doesn't fall, oh my god, he's like rotating back and forth, he, he literally rocked forward on his toes, look, and then he rocks back on his heels, very trippy there, okay, that's tripping me out a little bit, nonetheless, man, I mean, the Grayson Waller figure, I'll dive into that first before getting into the Solo Sokoa figure. The Grayson Waller, it, it is what it is. I think it's a good representation of the character. It shocks the hell out of me that this guy's not on ball joints. That really shocked me. That was kind of just the, I don't know, discovery of the day. Actually, both of these guys are not on ball joints, which kind of bothers me. But the Grayson Waller's not on ball joints. I really like the gear. I think it is a good representation of the character. Knees are pretty damn tight because they are pinless. But giving him the Kurt Angle Ultimate Edition knee pads was a, an interesting thing to do. You know, I know they've kind of got gotten away from the old, like, Dolph Ziggler style knee pads, right? I think it, it looks like this is going to be the new, bigger knee pad mold, which it is what it is. Uh, I don't like big knee pads just because they hinder the hell out of articulation. I think they need to somehow go into, like, cloth for knee pads or something. I don't know, just something to explore for the future, I guess, to make these figures better. Just so you get that full range of motion or even, I, I don't think sculpting on the knee pads necessarily works unless you're dealing with an Otis or something like that. But, uh, nonetheless, man, the Grayson Waller is what it is. I'm definitely going to switch the knee pads just so he doesn't feel so tight, but I think it represents the character well, and that's all you can really ask. I like the gear. The head sculpt looks just like him, I think, so yeah, I mean, a bit goofy, but yeah, I think it's a good representation of the character. And then the Solo Sokoa, man. The only issues I'm having here is I wish there was more articulation in terms of his legs. His legs are very stiff, man. He's not on ball joints. Very, very stiff legs, and they're also too skinny, I still believe. I think his legs and his calves should be much larger. I just think the proportions of the figure are way off. The torso is definitely much much better, obviously. It's a definite must. It's definitely much better than his first go around. It's a good representation, I think. A better representation of his first figure in Elite 104, no doubt. But it still deals with a lot of proportion issues. I think the arms are too small. I think he could have used bigger arms. I mean, they gave this guy the same arms as, what, Seth Rollins and whatnot. I think they could have easily given him bigger arms here. They need a medium mold. I've said this multiple times. They need a medium mold for guys like him, Kevin Owens, Mick Foley, Mankind, things like that. I think that would really do wonders for him. Like, obviously, like, Bronson Reed arms and Otis arms are probably
probably a bit too big, so they really need to explore getting that mid cut that aren't overly cut and jacked. But I don't know. I think they had some options out there. I just don't know every single arm mold. I, I can't remember. I think Omos had some decent sized arms that could have worked, or maybe they were too long. I don't know. I'm just rambling on here. But his arms are definitely skinny. His legs are too skinny. I think they should have done not only an upper shorts cut, but a cut where the thigh meets the shorts because it's a hidden it's a hidden articulation point, man. It's there for you. It's right there. It's in plain sight. So you could have went upper thigh, mid thigh, and the shin cut, which they do here. And I don't know, that just, that just adds to the stiffness level. And then on top of that, the feet are also stiff just because of this mold. So I don't know. I, it, there's just, it's definitely much better. And I like the figure. And it's going to be very interesting when we rank Elite 107 because there's a lot of figures in here that had a ton of potential. But did the execution really live up to it? We'll have to see. But I don't know, man. I enjoy both figures in ways, but they are frustrating in other ways. But I do like this solo much better than his Elite 104. And you will not find this figure on a worst of list for 2024. It's definitely bigger. I like the Usos shirt. I like the We The One shirt. I like that they finally gave him the Samoan spike hand, so I think it is close enough to Solo until the next time. And I really like the thing, the waist wrap. I think the waist wrap, like the waist band it's supposed to be, really represents well here. You'd have to push it up sometimes, but I think it accomplishes the goal, man. But if you want to grab these figures, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MD Toys to save yourselves 10%, of course. But I enjoy these figures, man. I enjoy them, and I think you guys will also enjoy them if you're fans of these characters. And I would definitely replace your Elite 104 Solo with this version. So definitely do that. But nonetheless, man, that is going to wrap up the video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Huge shout-out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those fellas over there. Dude, there's just been so much product to review here, but the room tour is coming this week, which is awesome. We got more reviews, and I have an epic surgery coming up with a lot of good different fix-ups on it that I'm excited to do. I think it's, it's some underrated stuff on there that I can't wait to dive into with you, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that. But I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.